and they're thinking that they're going to get this we, and the perception. Yeah, we have to, it's we hard. Have to break now. So everyone, this is going to be a, a six minute break, I believe. You guys, come five minute break. Come back at the top of the hour. WBHM out of Birmingham, Alabama. Come back and check us out. Okay, guys, you got five minutes to run.
are listening to WBHM, digital broadcasting, the best in paranormal talk only on Paranormal Experience Radio, broadcasting live, live, live out of Birmingham, Alabama. Welcome back to the Paranormal Pride here on WBHM out of Birmingham, Alabama. I hope everyone's having a great night. My guests tonight are the Houston Five Paranormal Team, and they are just, we were just talking in over the, over the, behind the airwaves where you guys can't hear us, about their hoot and how we're having a great time with them. And we did have some questions in the chat that I'm going back to find. And this one is from Brenda Holmes. Um, she, she asks Katrina to have an accurate reading. She thinks that one would have to be in the same area. Can you explain how it works to do it remote? Katrina, you're, you guys are still on mute. I guess maybe they didn't come back from break. <laughs> So, yeah, chat amongst myself. So, well, everyone, I want to keep everybody in the loop here. If you're just if you're just joining in, I'm talking with the Houston Five Paranormal Team, but I also want to get everybody to um, say a prayer for some some people out there. Um, oh, I threw away my notes already. Um, the, our show on Friday night, her her. Sherry Robertson, is that correct? Just say yeah, your name. Um, her mom passed away, so I want you guys to say prayers for her. Um, she's on this Ghost Talk Radio, and I want you guys to say a prayer for her. Um, it was very sudden, and my heart goes out to her. Um, Rhody was supposed to be on tonight, and her mom's recovering from surgery, and so prayers for Rhody as well, and her mom. And then my friend Jerome Minx from Pike Mansion is in the hospital and hopefully recovering from his illness. Um, it's He's on a ventilator, life support type stuff, so hopefully he will recover. And I want everybody to say big, huge prayers for him as well. And there are so many people out there that need our prayers right now. And so please say those prayers for those people needing them and i'm going to be really kind of a little bit rude and ask for prayers for myself for my my stuff going on tomorrow so i hope that you guys will all do that we everybody appreciates prayers it's the easiest thing you can do and there's no special pla more special place to be than to be in someone's prayers so um are you guys back over there at houston five Uh, Katrina, they call their call dropped. The call dropped. So, wrote, so we'll need to try to get them back. So, next week, guys, my guest is going to be Bill Reap from Reap Investigations. We're going to be talking about his his book, and we're here. Uh, so it's going to be really good. I'm going to be reading it during my time off work this week so it's going to be really interesting let me see if uh, i can't i can't reach the book right now so but i will tell you more about the book it talks about investigations it has in there the contracts and stuff like that that you want your the people that you're investigating their homes to sign things like that so i think that you i will find this really interesting um so this is going to be for the the beginning paranormal investigator all the way up to someone who's been doing it for quite a while but wants to be a, a more professional at it so tune in next week for bill reap and i believe the week after that i have josh hurd and then uh daniel class i have all kinds of of great paranormal people coming up in the next few weeks i also have a survivalist coming on i don't know how you guys feel about Ooh. that but, but i like survival shows i love survival shows and uh i love the show alone i'm i'm going to try to get sam on hopefully i can get sam on and 
I, I we're love doomsday those preppers too. Oh. We're preppers too. Oh, you're doomsday preppers too. Yay! Yep, we're doomsday preppers too. Okay, well, as you can hear, my guests are back. This is Houston Five. So, Katrina, we had a question for you in the chat, and it's from Brenda. She asks, really, basically, her basic question is, how hard is it to read someone that's not right there with you? Uh, well, like I stated, I do phone sessions all over the world, so it doesn't really matter. I, I've been in Arizona and contacted somebody in Kansas with something that was going on. Um, numerous of my readings, when you sit and we're talking, um, your loved ones will give me a vision of what you're, what you're sitting on or where you are. And it, one in particular was, I saw bunnies. And she says, you won't believe it, but I'm sitting right in front of, and we were talking about her granddaughter. Her granddaughter has a bunny that is in 4-H, and her grandmother that I'm speaking to is on the phone telling her that. So she sends me a photo that that's exactly where she is. That's why I say they coexist with us. So um, string theory, uh, I'm trying to uh, believe, I, I truly believe with coexistence, instantly they can be there. So it has no distance is relevant. That, that's a great answer. So and Carl asks, Carl is from CC Paranormal Team up here in Caldwell County, Missouri. So um, does does your group get verification from the equipment on what Katrina hears and sees? Yes, definitely. All the time. Without a doubt. Perfect. So let's see. We get EVP, we get um, the SLS. meters going off, the SLS camera. I love it when I can tell you somebody is on my shoulder on the right, uh, 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 so to speak, on the right side. Or eating a cupcake. Or eating a cupcake, and they're sitting right there on such, and the SLS camera is saying it is beautiful. Um, uh, very helpful validation. Perfect. So I, if anybody else has any questions, please ask them. We've got lots of time to answer your questions. I mean, Katrina may talk over the break, but I will. I'll, I'll try to rein her in. We got but. we got great validation at the Sally House up there um, when I was with you and Ron. Um, when I said that the Indian was talking to me and that he was getting angry, and remember that orb that just came flashing at us. And um, I, I think timing is so important, and things happen for a reason. So. You guys have a story that was about Rody and you guys. Oh, if you want to hear a funny story, is Rody and I, when I took her, she met us up, and you know, I wanted to make it, it was our bucket list, and, and you sent her over some of your paranormal friends, which are now our paranormal friends. And it was a very nice, and Rody loves to mm, provoke. Yeah, that would be the good <laughs> yeah. thing. So I took her to um, a cemetery before we even got back to my mom's right from the airplane airport. And um, we're speaking. I'm trying to get a hold of my soldier. If anybody has seen my photos, you can see his eyelashes. And he wasn't talking to us, but something Rody's talking with her EVP and we're using the DR60. And um, I distinctly hear him that he doesn't want to talk. But, you know, she can't hear that. So she asks again, and we distinctly got, Rrr. and I just turned around and went right to the car because um, my thing is, is I already know what he said. He said, no, we don't want to talk. And then when you make a noise, so I get into the car and Rody's like, oh, you want to be smart? You wanna, she's taking it, you know, like, um, come and get me kind of guy. And some words that I can't say on, on, on the radio show. I rolled down my window only about two and a half inches, and I'm uh, you. If you could see me, it's funny. I'm looking. I'm going through the window, and I go, Rody. I don't think he's from here. I think it was some kind of. Um, it, it, he was a spirit that was passing through. It wasn't from the um, cemetery. So you hear Rody go, Oh, okay. She gets in the car. She goes, See, 
they won't do nothing if you just tell them not to do it. La, 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 la. She's just like, I told you, Katrina. Well, my mom's only three and a half blocks from this um, cemetery. And I, it's midnight. And I look behind in my rear view mirror.